love you guys, friend. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Oh my gosh, tell me why I had the best day ever. So, before I get into the video, please, 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 if you have not already, please subscribe to the channel and please show me some love by smashing that like button. Um, I love talking to you guys. I love all of the engagement. So please, 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 if you've had similar experiences, let a girl know, you know, we're all in this together. So I moved back to Cape Town. I moved back to Cape Town. I get, I get an apartment and I'm staying with this girl. Now, in the area that I'm living in now, a lot of people have not really encountered transgender people and unfortunately for me whilst I was out you know getting to know the area getting to know my surroundings um, I encountered a huge group there was a party this one day so there was a huge group of people you know like outside getting lit having fun there must have been like 30 and now the thing is, I needed to walk past them in order to get to, you know, like, where I stay. And obviously somebody's going to clock your tea. Now, once my tea was clocked, you know, people were heckling me, people were laughing, people were doing what people do. You know, people are going to people. And I just, you know, I just kept moving because... Guess what? It's not the first time in my life that someone has said something mean to me about my gender expression. It's not the first time in my life somebody has tried to shake my confidence. So I just left it and I thought nothing of it. Not realizing that me being trans was so sensational in this area that those people were going to go off and you know, tell their friends, tell their families, and in doing so, influence the children that live within this area. So as the weeks progressed, I started noticing that a lot of people would like point fingers and stare and it wasn't only the adults. Girl, I started having like 13 year olds and 10 year olds and seven year olds point and stare and laugh and do all of that. Now, I had never really experienced transphobia from children. So you can only imagine how like confusing the experience was because come on girl, you're not gonna clap back at a seven year old. You're not going to clap back at a 13-year-old because that just shows that you are mentally not okay. You know what I mean? Kids often don't know better. And my hope is that as the years progress and as people become more informed, that, you know, people are going to start to, you know, do away with all of this hatred that they have. Anyways, I digress. I got to a point where I didn't want to walk outside anymore. I didn't want to, I, I didn't even want to go to the gas station to like get anything because I was so anxious that I'd be walking and there'd be like people in the street and they would see me. So I got to a point where I was like, girl, I'm about to develop agoraphobia because I'm so scared. So, you know, in those moments, at least for me, I always ask myself, you know, like, I'm in a situation where I'm feeling disempowered. How can I take my power back? How can I make myself comfortable in the area that I live in? Because fact of the matter is, I can't really move right now. I'm kind of stuck here for a couple of months. And even though the area is kind of rough um i love where i stay like i love my like my like apartment and stuff and i have a great i have a great flatmate so my flatmate happens to have a husky 
a big dog named Zeus. Zeus? 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 Okay, I'm not sure if y'all saw him like walking past. But Zeus is this, he's, he's a really big husky and he's very excitable. If you know anything about huskies, you know how like, I don't know, full of energy they are. And I, I kind of feel like Zeus has extra energy. So I decided that, you know what I was going to do? Or you know what I'm, what I'm about to do? I decided I would take Zeus out for a walk in the exact same street where all of those ratchet adults and their kids who they've taught how to hate, I wanted to walk down that street with Zeus. Because I understand, at least in this country, people are terrified of dogs. And I wanted to do so, I, like, I wanted to walk outside with Zeus and I wanted to, to do it in a way where it looked like I had little to no control of Zeus. There he goes. I wanted to make it look like I had little control, like he could just jump off and like attack somebody. Blitzfinich. And Blitzfinich means super fast. So I'm like, okay, cool, Christabel, you know what? You know what? You're going to take your power back. So I take Zeus. I literally, <laughs> I had him on um, his, like, I had him on his chain, and I decided I was going to hold, I basically held with my pinky. And as I was walking, I made it look like, I made it look like I was weak. I made it look like I was about to fall. I made it look like Zeus was the one walking me. And do you know what happened? Girl, <laughs> the very same people who would loiter around the street harassing me, did they not start locking their gates, looking all scared? I even had this one, and unfortunately it was a little kid. I had this one little kid, he's, he's probably like 11 or 12, and he was just like, does your dog bite? And I'm like, um, yes, yes, he does. He, he does bite. And he immediately just jumped back into his, <laughs> he got back into the house and he shut that gate. And in that moment, I felt so protected. I felt so powerful. I felt like I had taken my power back because Often people, when they see us, they think that we're powerless and they think that we are afraid of them and do not have resources and do not have people or even animals that would come to our rescue. So I just want to tell you, like, if you ever encounter transphobia, like, especially from children, girl, try to not make it that deep. Try to understand that a lot of people are taught ignorance. A lot of people are taught hatred. And even though somebody might be filled with hatred, even though somebody might be filled with um, antagonism towards you, it is not a reflection on you. It's simply a reflection on them and how small their world is. You're beautiful, you're amazing, you're excellent, and you deserve to be protected. So if y'all have dogs out there, and I'm not talking about these little purse dogs that don't do nothing, I'm talking about big dogs. If y'all have dogs out there, or if you have somebody out there who will walk with you, girl, do it. Do it. You're not alone in this. I know it, it feels like we're alone. It feels like we're dealing with this stuff by ourselves, but we're really not. Just know that I love you, I support you, and I know that we're all going to get through this. I can't wait to see you on the other side. All right. Bye! <laughs>